What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dennis here at Bruce Ross Myers, Daytona Harley Davidson with the Used Bike Spotlight. And guys, we got a trick question for you today. Anybody know what we're looking at? Guys, that's a 2013 Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle Road King. That's right, guys, Road King. Had you there with the fairing system, didn't I? Guys, that, somebody went through a lot of expense to be able to really have your kink and eat it too, okay? Uh, you got a lot of accessories on this bike, including that really neat fairing system. Well, we got a lot to get to, so let's get after it. Now, of course, the first thing we're gonna have to touch on is gonna be that fairing system, okay? That fairing is gonna be one of the hoppy fairing systems, and it's definitely something that's gonna add a lot of feel to the, to the bike, and it's an easy way to be able to take a Road King and convert it over to a Street Glide pretty quickly. Uh, the only real difference between the Road King and the Street Glide is gonna be in the fairing systems. They're both touring class bikes, they both have center drive front ends, they both got rubber mounted motors, they've even got the same rear ends, uh, and now both the Road Kings are, this, well, these are King Classics, uh, and the specials are the same seat height as the Street Glide as well, because the Street Glide was lowered an inch compared to the, to the Road King, the standard Road King, anyway. So, well, anyway, I digress. I have a tendency to go off on tangents. Dennis, shut up. Anyway, back to the fairing system, okay? Now, somebody went through a lot of expense, because these things come black, to be able to have this thing matched to that CBO paint, okay? And it is a beautiful paint job. You can really see they really stepped it up. But the way you can tell that it's not a Harley fairing is, well, when you look at the other side. You see, whenever you turn it around, that's where you're going to notice a couple of things missing that the Harley Davidson variant would have. Okay, you don't have a gauge cluster, you don't have the instrument panel, there's no uh, ambient air temperature of any of the goodies like that, okay, because this is an aftermarket piece. Now, you'll notice it's got some 6x9 speakers on here, but there's no driver here. Drive, yeah, that's gonna be something to be able to play the music to or something like that. Um, you got great speakers, but don't worry, the speakers that are on here are plugged into the Harley Davidson system. I know what you're thinking, Dennis. Didn't you say that's a Road King? Yes, I did. I know what you're thinking. Road Kings don't have stereos. The Screaming Eagle 2013 does. Check this out. See, now, when you're talking about stereo systems, Harley took the 13 CBO, okay, and they actually included an iPod shuffle with the bike whenever it came, whenever it came from the factory. Nice little one there. And the saddlebag, of all places, is where that piece was stored. Just pop the saddlebag open like so. And this was a piece that was available from the motor company uh, through the accessory p &A catalog. But if you unzip that thing right there, right, you've got two little inputs here, all right? One is a female connector, so you could just use a regular aux cord, male to male, and plug it into an iPod cell phone and anything of that nature. Or if you have an Apple product, you've got the adapter right here to be able to plug right in. And of course, you can seal it up right here in your saddlebag to be able to go on down the road. But I know what you're thinking. You're like, dude, uh, doesn't that mean that we'd have to, you know, stop anytime you need to do anything with music? No, of course not. Harley thought of that. I mean, it's Harley for crying out loud. So, just like with the Ultra or the Street Glides or anything of that nature, with this bike, they put the controls up in the handlebars, just like they would for a bike with any a normal stereo system. So, you've got your mode select and your up and down, which is pretty much going to be able to select uh, different options. So, if it's an iPod or you're using Pandora or something of that nature, you can still have a skip button on there. And then right over here, is going to be your volume control. So you can actually go up and down and control the speakers that are here. And, and then let's not forget, there's one here in the fairing lowers. So, you know, that's two, four. And then let's not forget in the saddlebags, they actually have speakers in the saddlebags too. I think they're like a six by nine. So that's six speakers on a Road King. Six speakers on a Road King. Pretty cool, right? Now, everybody knows that the Screaming Eagle is going to have a 110 cubic inch motor, okay? Or at least it did until, what was it, 2006 forward, I think is whenever they did the 110 motor. Uh, this one's got a high flow air filter system on it, or a stage one, which normally comes standard on a Screaming Eagle pipe. So that means you've already got the high flow air filter system out of the way. Makes it a little bit easier and cheaper to be able to do a set of exhaust, which, da 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 da, -da you got the Vance and Hines X pipe header on here, okay? No catalytic converter, all that's been removed, so you got better airflow. Uh, and you get the two in one power because you've got a crossover right here to allow two in one, but then it splits back off very much so like the Harley Davidson pipe does after 2009. Gee whiz, who'd have thought? Kicks back underneath the bike and then goes out to the exhaust system itself. So better airflow, better rumble, better sound. Now, you always get a lot of cool things from the motor company. 
uh, the extended bags, those are going to be stock on that Screaming Eagle model. You've got the Frenched and brake lights down here, which are really awesome. You're going to get that, you know, really good looking lights going down the road, bright enough so people can see you when you're going down there, but to make sure that you're heard as well. You got a set of Python exhaust down here as well. Those Python pipes, that's a subsidiary from a Vance and company. A lot of people think that they're their louder counterpart. I personally like to think they're a little bit more mellow, a little bit more tooth, a little bit more rumble. Uh, but we can always see that if you come in and take it for a test ride. You know, just for fun. Now, of course, whenever you're dealing with the Screaming Eagle, you're going to be dealing with the best of every aspect of the motor company. You get the 110 motor, you get all the chrome controls, all the gizmos, the sleep streamer style floorboards. Everything's already there from the factory, including custom paint, which this one's got what they call a crushed sapphire paint on it. It's almost like a gold flaked on the blue on the, on the inset and then a deep royal blue on the outside. Absolutely beautiful setup. And I got to admit, they did a hell of a job with the color match on the fairy. I mean, come on, looks pretty good. So guys, this is a 2013 Screaming Eagle Road King, 110 cubic inches of pure sex appeal, crushed sapphire, six speaker stereo, you've got the hoppy removable fairing system on there, uh, hell, Dancing Heinz X-Pipe, Python slip-on exhaust to be able to give you the rumble going down the road. It does have the dual gauge. You have the Corbin locking saddle that's going to be able to top that off. And of course, you got to notice these, these ape hangers here. A nice wide set of apes. Uh, I want to say probably right around 12s uh, with a good wide berth for the guys with the broader shoulders. Uh, again, the bike's only got 4,948 miles. The guys, we're going to let this one go for a song. We're talking 18875. It's going to include the one-year powertrain warranty and always our oil for life. So guys, give me a call. Phone number here is 386 671 or hit me up via email at dpiles at brhd.com. Or better yet, come on in and see me, y'all. Do you really need an excuse to come to the world's largest Harley-Davidson dealership? No, I just gave you one. Till then, we'll see you on the road.